Hello, today I'm going to talk about the theoretical concept of calibration for both the analog transmitter and the smart transmitter. So first, I talk about the analog transmitter. In this example, I use the pressure analog pressure transmitter for our discussion. Okay, analog transmitter is a traditional type of transmitter. It's a quite simple uh, transmitter. Okay, basically the analog transmitter consists of few blocks, sensor, low pass filter circuit, amplifier, and driver circuit. Okay, low, low pass filter circuit is basically perform the damping, okay, to try to filter out the noise. Amplifier is the place where we can perform the calibration adjustment or sometimes we call it trimming. Okay, driver circuit is the place where it produces the output signal, like 4 to 20 milliamp output signal. Okay, if we want to do the rearranging, we have to do at the zero and span screws, usually located uh, on the transmitter output terminal side. Okay, sometimes zero screw can be called as bias screw, while the span screw can be called as gain screw. Okay, so let's see, we want to do the, we want to rearrange the pressure transmitter range. Then we have to manually, physically adjust the screw at the zero screw and the span screws. Okay, so the zero screw can be called as a LRV. Okay, LRV stands for low range value. The span screw can be referred to as a URV or upper range value. Okay, so in order to perform the calibration adjustment, or sometimes we call it trimming, when the calibration is off of spec, or maybe the calibration is within the spec, but is a bit far from the set point. So in order to do so, we have to manually adjust zero screw and the span screw. The step is almost the same like rearranging. Okay, so how we do it is very simple. It depends on the range. Okay, the RRV range and the URV range. Let's say my pressure transmitter has a range of 0 to 150 PSI range. So the 0 PSI is an RRV or low range value. The 150 PSI is a URV or ultra, uh, sorry, upper range value. So first we, I will apply 0 stimuli. That means I will apply the zero PSI pressure. Okay, then I will manually adjust the zero screw until I get about zero PSI. After that, I will apply maximum stimuli. In this case, it's 150 PSI to the sensor of the pressure transmitter. And then I will manually adjust the span screw until I get 150 PSI. After I completed this process, I need to verify with 0 PSI and 150 PSI to make sure the reading I get okay, is accurate. If it is not accurate, then we have to repeat the process of calibration adjustment. Note that sometimes you need to perform a few times in order to get the accurate result. Okay, Next, we talk about smart transmitter. In this case, we use a Pressure transmitter as our example. Smart can be referred to as digital. So when we talk about digital, usually it can do more things and it got more information. Basically for the digital or smart transmitter is basically con consists of sensor, analog to digital converter, microprocessor, digital to analog converter. Okay, analog to digital converter is the circuit where it converts the analog signal to the digital signal. Why? Because it is a digital transmitter. Microprocessor is where you can perform the RRV and URV range adjustment. 
okay it also the damping also can be performed inside the microprocessor as for the digital to analog converter this is a circuit where it will convert the digital signal to analog signal in this case the signal is a 4 to 20 milliamp output signal okay if you see at this uh, picture you notice that that there are two adjustments this trim adjustment or calibration adjustment at this side and another adjustment at this side this calibration adjustment we call it input calibration or sensor calibration as for this calibration adjustment at this side we can call it output calibration adjustment or we can call signal calibration adjustment okay so how do we do the rearranging okay rearranging can be done okay by using the hard communicator this is a hard communicator we can hook up the hard communicator to the smart transmitter in this case it's a smart pressure transmitter usually we hook up to the transmitter output terminal okay then we can view all the parameter inside uh, as display in the hard communicator display so you can then perform the range adjustment for example 0 to 150 psi you can rearrange to 0 to 100 psi or can be easily done inside the hard communicator because you can view all the parameter inside here this is far better than you use the analog transmitter okay so as for trimming or calibration adjustment you need to do the trimming or adjustment meaning calibration adjustment when the calibration is out of spec or within the spec but is far from the set point as for this one you have you want to do the input calibration or the sensor calibration then you have to connect the standard master pressure transmitter to the fuel pressure transmitter that you want to calibrate okay if let's say okay the pv or process variable you get is not matched with the pressure reading you get from the standard master calibrator then you have to perform calibration you have to select the lower trim and upper trim inside the hard communicator in order to perform calibration okay and then for the output calibration or signal calibration here the signal is the 4 to 20 milliamp milliamp is the unique of current so you have to connect the standard master calibrator which is a digital multimeter in this case in series with the output terminal circuit by using the hard communicator which is hooked up to the fuel pressure transmitter we can see the milliamp reading as shown here in let's say okay this pressure transmitter output current reading did not match with the standard master calibrator which in this case is a digital multimeter then you have to perform output calibration you need to navigate the menu until you find output calibration then you perform the output adjustment until the output current reading as shown here the analog output AO analog output matches with the standard master uh, standard master calibrator reading then your calibration is done okay so that's all thank you